Hi, I'm Coach Kane from Straight Blast Gym, Portland, Oregon. This is Assistant Coach Ella. I'm going to start this one with a small story because I think it's a good story. Back when I first started coaching at the gym, I don't know, 18 years ago, uh, I was a blue belt and I had no idea what I was doing. And uh, one of the things I would do is uh, my class was right after Coach Matt's. And so I'd go to Coach Matt's class and then learn jiu-jitsu. And then Matt would leave and then I would coach and then I would just like take all the stuff he did and then reteach re it. And then maybe if I was lucky, add something new. And so uh, my first year or so of coaching was just sort of mimicking what I saw my coach do, which turned out was pretty good advice. Um, and so why that's a good story is uh, this technique I'm gonna show you is uh, happened that same way. So this was about six months ago. Um, on Tuesday night, Matt and I coach at the same time in different parts of the mat. And it just so happened we were both teaching uh, back escapes. And so uh, I'm teaching a back escape and I'm teaching a thing where you drive an arch and get your head to the mat and then turn your hips. And then I look over and I see Matt telling people, um, when you fall to the side, don't ever put your head on the mat. And I was like, holy crap, what is, he, what is he talking about? And so I got my students working on a drill and then I snuck over and I watched what he was doing and it was really interesting. And so um, I'm going to show you that today. And so what I did was what I did 18 years ago is, is after the drill, uh, I brought my students in and I taught them what I saw Matt doing on the other side of the mat. So uh, here's the thing I got from Matt. <laughs> and so Ella's going to take my back and she's going to bring me over to the side. Now what I've always done in this position was drive my head high like this uh, so I can begin to get a turn. Let's go back up. Instead of doing that, I'm going to make myself heavy on that side for a very particular reason. So now she's going to go to the side here. Instead of putting my head down, I'm actually going to keep my head off the mat and I'm going to uh, work really hard to get 100% of my weight on the inside of her thigh here. If my head goes to the mat, my hips get heavy. And so if I can keep all of my weight on her thigh, what I've effectively done is I've set the battleground. If I can submit myself to this position and uh, put, put our, our, our combined bodies in a space where she can't move us, then I know where to fight from. I've controlled a really important variable in the fight in that Ella can't get us out of this position anymore. And so how do you get heavy on this thigh? I'm going to show you. And so um, we fall into this side. I'm going to take my shoulders and I'm going to move them away from her body a little bit like this. I'm going to take my head and I'm actually going to lift it up a little bit until I feel all of my upper body weight on the inside of her thigh. My toes are going to touch the mat and lift my knee up a little bit like that. And then so uh, all of my lower body weight is on her thigh, all of my upper body weight is on her thigh, and then my hip is going to curl a little bit like that. And when I do, I can shift the weight to the bottom side of her thigh rather than the top side of her thigh here like that. And it becomes really tight. I'm super heavy and she's never going to be able to take me back the other way. Um, that really frees up my hands to do hand fighting uh, here really well. And so I can do effective hand fighting here and she can't move us. So if Ella decides she, she wants to move me back over that way, she's not going to be able to do it because I'm really heavy there. Now one of the things that happens here is she tries to put her leg behind here or sometimes people will do like a figure four behind here like that. Yeah, she can't do the figure four or put her leg behind my thigh when I'm in that position. So when I get to this position, if she puts her foot behind my thigh, there's nothing there. If she thinks she wants to figure four her legs, she can't do it because she can't get them there. So her ability to get behind my thigh or figure four is completely done there. And so I've locked everything in um, so I can hand fight from this position. And so we're going to switch up and I'm going to have Ella do it. And fall. That's it. And so now Ella's going to move her shoulders forward this way a little bit. Yep. And then keep her head off the mat. Good. And now she's going to feel all of her upper body weight on, on the inside of my thigh close to my knee. That feels good. Now she's going to take her feet, put her toes on the mat, lift her knees up a little bit, and then curl her hip in, and then feel her weight on the lower part of my, my thigh, so on the bottom part. Yeah, there. That's it right there like that. Now her elbows should be doing none of the, the job of keeping her up like that because now she can use her hands for hand fighting and so now she can grab my hands with this one 
and then win that battle. And if I decide I want to figure through my feet, I can't do it. If I want to put this one behind her thigh, she can just move this leg. And it just completely does not connect at all. And so she set the battle where we are now going to have to fight from this position. And my ability to uh, lock my legs and then control her is completely done from there. And so where she is on my leg is right here. And that's the important part. This is the heavier part. And so if you're here or here, you're going to be a bit lighter. So you can, you'll feel it when, when, you're the, when you're in Ella's spot. You'll feel where your weight is. And if you just shift and then use your hips in the right way, you can get it right here. And uh, once you get it right here and your shoulders are up and your head is forward, your hands become completely free to hand fight. Uh, they no longer have to be used to uh, create base or do anything else. And then you've locked the battle into that spot. And so they will have to win the fight from there because they can't move you anywhere else. And so um, I thought it was brilliant. Um, I loved it as a concept and I've been working it in a back position uh, to see how it works. And so anyway, give that a try. And uh, if you um, find some better details you'd like to share, please do and uh, let us know how it works.